apparently North Texas Municipal Water District or whoever else is participating in dredging has hit a little bump out there. Well, you know, the uh, the dredging has been languishing for a few months. There hasn't been much progress. In fact, uh, for some time, the contractor hasn't even been on site. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I believe on August 20th, North Texas Municipal Water District sent them a notice of termination. So uh, I guess that's that for the contractor, and they'll, I suppose, move on to another one. But in the meantime, we're still pumping out of uh, Cooper Lake and rocking right along. You're kind of keeping an eye on this just to see what's going on with the lake that you have a lot of interest in. And uh, I, I'm sure you would like to see it at some point dredged where it just has more water in there, I guess. Well, we don't really need it to be dredged. They do. And that's a um, major point of negotiation in our contract between them. Uh, but yeah, I am interested. I'd like to see what's going on there. And it could affect the quality of the water that we're pumping at the moment if the that they stir up too much silt so yeah we keep an eye on it uh, still very low the light uh, your report was oh yeah still eight feet low ten feet low i'm yeah, sorry yeah. um it was 12 feet low this time last year so we're marginally better off but still in pretty bad shape mm -hmm. and would like to see a lot of rain this uh this fall and there's a 65 percent chance of uh, el nino developing and sometime soon so that bodes well for us it's, and it seems to be usually in the transition to El Nino conditions that we see a lot of rain and, and uh, so any day now cross your fingers and toes some people wonder why an event in the Pacific <coughs> affect us here in, in Northeast Texas but I mean you should you watch those fronts they're almost always coming from California well it, I, I can't explain how it works but I know it affects conditions all across North America and that typically in El Nino we'll see rain here and the Northwest will see drought and vice versa during La Nina so uh, hopefully it's our turn for some rain you gave her a report, an update on Roger Street, uh, almost finished with that. Yeah, Roger Street is 75% completed, uh, and then the next uh, 10 days or so, we should finish up that project altogether. What's lacking over there uh, at this point? Well, we just have to uh, pour concrete on one half of one block, mm -hmm. and it's done. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's the, you gave a pothole update, I guess? Uh, yeah, so we had thought that we would, um, postpone you know we did in August we went out and did a whole bunch of potholes and and utility uh, street repairs mm -hmm. those are the repairs that happen after we've repaired a water line sewer line or in some cases a gas line has been repaired and that uh, we <clears throat> we got back on Roger Street was the plan and and we figured that in uh, September we turned our attention back to potholes but as it turned out they were able to make a lot of progress on Roger Street and fix potholes uh, during the month and so we've caught up. We've, uh, we've worked off all of the um, work orders that we've gotten on potholes. Some of them were not potholes, you know, perhaps a little, uh, in some cases we saw some plant mix might have peeled away from the original asphalt and somebody called it as a pothole and so if that didn't get fixed, it's not going to get fixed, it's not a pothole. Mm. But that's not to say that we got all the potholes. If there are others out there that are on your street or a street that you travel on that you're aware of that haven't been repaired, please call the main number, 885-7541, and let us know. We'll put it on the list, and we'll get out there and fix it. After Rogers gets done, and if the you know, pothole report comes out pretty good, uh, what's next uh, for the street? We've got a couple of projects coming up. One is Lamar Street, and water, sewer, um, some drainage, and a repave. And we've got uh, a 12-inch water main running out 2285 past Lake Sulphur Springs Dam mm -hmm. to replace it. It's a source of a lot of water main breaks, and we'd like to get that replaced. And so those will probably be the next two projects coming up. And then we've got the summer paving program. Of course, summer's over, mm -hmm. and we thought it might turn into the fall paving program, and that will happen here real soon as well. With the new budget year, too, uh, there's a lot more emphasis on street work and getting a lot more projects done in the next budget year. Uh, yeah, so we've uh, our, our streets 
rebuilding budget is is going from 1.1 million a year to 1.8 million a year. So mm -hmm. there'll be a notable increase this coming year in, in streets activity.